one of the keys in doing that, or as we call maybe the fundamentals, is something called unity. Unity is important, and it's something that we always have to strive for. It never should be assumed. And I want to just teach you what that means. Unity is not uniformity. Our definition really comes, uh, or the how-to comes from Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. Look with me. It says this, Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. There's two parts. First of all, bear with each other. It means accept diversity. You're going to be different. In your home and family, if it's like mine, I have a wife and three kids, four dogs. <laughs> We're all different. We all have different opinions, ideas. We communicate differently. We have different interests. But the unity is based around Deuteronomy chapter 6, known as the great commandment that we love God. And then what Jesus said in Matthew when he gave us the second commandment, not only to love God, but to love one another. Unity requires that we accept and even celebrate uh, differences, but we're unified in our love of God and our commitment to one another. The second part of that verse is about forgiveness. You're always going to make mistakes. We are sinful people. We get selfish, and we hurt one another. We, we say things, and sometimes families can be so contentious and, and how do we respond? Well, if you're a follower of Jesus, then because of our love of God, and more importantly, his love for us, and because he has forgiven us for our wrongdoing, we can extend that. We have the capacity to extend that to others.